What's up everybody? I'm Tyler Simone and this is Tipsy Tea, your one-stop shop for beauty, brains, and a buzz because the tea is always better when you're just a little bit tipsy. We're back this week with a new look, new booze, and new conversation. So without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> So this week you voted and we got this cute little cloud look. It matches my nails. I picked two blue looks because I just got these blue nails and I'm manifesting spring with the bright colors and the pastel. So we're going to manifest spring with this look. It's also really just dreamy and I haven't done anything I think super creative on this channel yet. So we're going to give it a shot. <sighs> and speaking of shots, I... Usually, I know I usually take shots on this channel unless I drink like wine or something, um, but your girl maybe took one too many this weekend. Maybe one too many. So I'm going to try. We're going to try. We're going to see if my body is still recovering, if it rejects this, but if not, I got my little handy dandy mixed drink. Got some Espelon Reposado and, you know... Here we go. Whew, pray for me. Okay. Ooh, my body's like, how dare you do this again to me so soon? For the sake of my well-being, we're gonna keep it at that two shots and just, you know, keep refilling this little mix middle mix bad boy. When I tell you that on Sunday, I was like, whew, you know, I'm not going to drink for at least, like, three weeks. And then I was like, I have a whole YouTube channel that is devoted to my drunk thoughts. That's mental illness, love. All right, we're all zoomed in, brows are on, and looking pretty good, I must say. And because of the nature of this look, we are going to start with our face first. So, got our little skin prep goodies here. You know, the light is kind of bright. So, we got our lavender hydrosol, our coconut and turmeric face milks. Our elf squalane, we love her. And because I'm really feeling like a glow, our Milani, um, <clears throat> and because I'm really feeling like a glow, our Milani Skin Enhancer and Mint Melt Cooling Primer. I am obsessed with this primer. It is so much better than the Milk Gripping Primer. I can't even believe. I like this one and the Urban Decay. Urban Primer. the skin for me. It's the glow for me. Period. Oh my god. See, this is why I don't be wearing no foundation in the summer because you're kidding. Mm. It's Monday, February 22nd that I'm filming this. Um, I'm going to say the date just because things change so quickly with everything that's happening lately. It's all changing so rapidly that by the time I post this, some of the things I'm saying could not be accurate or could have changed or whatever else. And I don't want y'all coming for me being like, but, but, but. Today is Monday, okay? This is just from, you know, the things that I have been updated on by NPR and the things I've been reading and, you know, all of that. I've also... <laughs> not a political commentator so if I am wrong I am always open to suggestion or not open to suggestion who tequila open to correction and suggestion on better sources okay now that I got my little <laughs> disclaimer out of the way I am really frustrated with this whole I guess culture of making everybody our savior or like I love I guess like stan culture because I feel like it gives a lot of people the attention that they deserve but 
we've taken it too far in some areas, right? Like, hearing people be like, oh my god, mom and dad, to pictures of Joe and Kamala, or being like, oh my god, like, Joe, we stand, like, follow, I'm um, over the most basic things. No. No. Kamala and Joe are not your mom and dad. They work for us. And they should be putting policies in place that help us. And Democrats have this, like, complacent mindset of being like, oh, great, <laughs> I voted, and now I'm done. And now I just wait until the next time I can vote. And it's like, but, but, do you not see that that's how we got to where we are now? No? Okay, bet. Like, realistically, I don't mind, or I, I mean, I do the same thing where I'm like, oh my god, mom and dad, like, oh my god, I love this person, or, you know, whatever else. But I feel like doing that with political figures just gets into a weird, dangerous territory, and that's why we don't hold anyone accountable. Like, I feel like that's why people didn't hold Obama accountable, and I loved him. Um... And by people, I mean his supporters. There were obviously people who <laughs> were everything that he did were being like, oh, what, what, oh my god. Because they just didn't want, you know, a black president. But so many people acted like with this new president, with Trump being out of office, that all of the issues that had presented themselves were going to just disappear. Oh no, not the sponge being too wet, hello. People have really acted like, oh, all of the work is done and now I can just, you know, sit back. And it's like, we can't because people are literally still, I mean, look what happened in Texas this week. Look what happened with all these people, or last week, um, with all these people who don't have power, who don't have water, who don't have heat because of the way that Texas government runs and the fact that they've privatized their electric grid so they don't have to share with anybody else. And like, I feel like, I mean, like, obviously we don't like Ted Cruz, but I feel like we vote someone that we think is decent into office and then leave it alone and that is just so complacent. Because you see what happens with that is that people voted Biden in office and then haven't been paying attention to the things that are happening within the first hundred days that don't directly affect them. Like, what is it? Something... I had to pull up the number because I wasn't positive of it. Um, 26,248 migrants have been deported since... Biden took office and he promised zero deportations within his first hundred days. Now granted he did lose that lawsuit with Texas however there was so much more that he could have done. Now we also have the fact that um Bernie's he pushed all student debt to be canceled. Warren pushed fifty thousand dollars in student debt should be to be canceled, and then Biden is now pushing ten. Like, how how do we go from all student debt to ten thousand in student debt? That's in forgiving student debt would close the economic gap between brown and black people and white, um, the white people and white 1% so much. Not even the 1%, just most Caucasian Americans. It would close the gap so much within just, uh, so much just by forgiving that debt. And now it's down to 10,000. And it's not even an executive order. To, like the fact that he was like, no, I'm just gonna defer this to Congress. I don't think that I have enough power to do this. 
is the fact that all of these other, um, all of these other people in politics have come out and been like, wait, what? You have more than enough power to do this, to sign this as an executive order, to just say, I'm just going to forgive this amount of student debt, whatever, because now it's going to go to Congress and it's going to just decrease. It's going to watch. I'm calling it. I hate to put bad things out to the universe, but now it's going to be like, oh, we'll forgive like $500. <laughs> no. Um, but it's going to be significantly less. 10000 is not going to pass in Congress. I'm hoping that it will, but it just would have been so much easier for him to do it and to actually just wield the power that he has. So for you to say publicly like, oh, I don't think that I have the executive power to make that decision to forgive $10,000 in student debt. It could have been 50, but still. Um, to forgive $10,000 in student debt, I'm just going to defer this to Congress and let them vote on it and let them figure out the plan. What? And then for people, for your used to be colleagues, I mean, I guess not anymore because you're president, I don't know, but used to be colleagues to come out and be like, no, n no, you a absolutely have that power. It's so goofy. Like, what is happening? All right, let's prime these eyes. All right, let's have a look at this look, shall we? Not that our little eyes are primed. Not well, <laughs> I might add, but it's fine. It doesn't need to be clean. I don't need to be clean. All right, just a lot of baby blue and some silver. We can do that. We can do that. Okay? Okay? Oop, still too dark, but we're getting there. Yes, some things, okay, what was I talking about? All right, yeah, some things that are new Prezi it needs to be held accountable for, okay? We need another stimulus. Realistically, we should have that $2,000 stimulus retroactively for freaking every month that we've been in quarantine. But, I think everyone's kind of realizing that that's not going to happen. Now they're arguing over $1,400 and I think that I means that's the same thing they've been arguing on, but Biden's still pushing for it. Every day I read the little news updates and it's like, here's what's happening with the stimulus or the possible stimulus package. And I know the entire package that's being proposed is $1.9 um, and that is for the um, for unemployment, it's for it's for unemployment, it's for COVID vaccine, it's to reopen schools, and it's to give stimulus checks as well. And I think there might be one thing that I'm missing, but um, tipsy brain, what can I say? But all of those things, it's a 1.9 trillion dollar stimulus package that is being pushed by Biden right now or that he is fighting for in Congress is, you know, talking about right now. However, that does not include retroactive stimulus checks and it does not include Oh, SBA. SBA was the other thing. It was S not SBA loans, but it was um, Small Business Association. It was for um, it was for bailout for the small businesses, which I do love. Um, but yeah, I wish in that in that stimulus was money that was coming past, you know, a stimulus check because not everyone is on unemployment and not everyone can be on unemployment, but they were still hit financially by this pandemic. And I know, who was it? It was Bloomberg, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, always. But it was Bloomberg, I believe, who was like, well, no, it wasn't Bloomberg. It wasn't Bloomberg. It was... Oh my god, I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna find it because I want to be correct in my source. It was Steve Scalisi. 
Steve Scalise? Steve Scalise. I don't know how you say it. Whatever. Irrelevant. He was the one who <laughs> was saying that... Um, he was like, this money is still sitting in like our bank account and people's bank accounts from the stimulus and we don't need to give out another one. And we're like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Who cares? People's savings have been hit. People's businesses, people's jobs, people's just whole livelihoods and well-being have been hit by this pandemic. If money is sitting, why are, why is the GOP so concerned about the money sitting in other people's bank accounts? Like... If you are not a person who hoards wealth, like a trillion, like a Jeff Bezos, like a, you know, someone of that stature who just doesn't, I mean, I guess Jeff Bezos is trying to give a little more lately, but you know, what you know what I'm saying. Um, if you are not someone who hoards wealth, then what does it matter what money is sitting in your bank account? Especially because most people who are struggling are poor and middle class Americans. Like, I don't, Make it make sense. I love Real Technique brushes. They just feel so soft all the time. They have such, just, I don't, I don't wanna say it, like a formula. I was gonna be like, they have such a good brush formula, but they just have such good brushes. They're so soft. They never make me itch or feel my skin feel dry or break out and that happens with some brushes, but these are amazing. Yes, ma'am. That's what we want. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yeah, I just... I am so frustrated about this change of heart or whatever on student debt and stimulus taking so long and it not even being really the stimulus that we've been looking for. And just the way this whole, the whole situation has been handled in general. I mean, COVID, um, on top of the, you know, what's happening in the southern states with their power grids and all of that stuff. It's just all of it. Like, it is really proving that the government is not prepared for anything except for war. Um, someone pointed that out in a brilliant Twitter thread. I love, God, I love Twitter. Um, that I was reading earlier this week, and it was true. The government is not prepared for anything unless it's war. Not a pandemic, not power outages, not energy shortages, not a thing. Unless it is to nuke somebody, to invade a country, to do anything along those lines, we can't make any decision in 48 hours or in a timely manner that suits the American people like it's so frustrating and it's so funny because like tax season is coming around right now and one of my friends was like you know I owe like this much in taxes and I wouldn't mind paying them if I thought my money was going somewhere good and I'm like you know what facts there's facts like I just no one would mind paying taxes if they felt like they were seeing the money they're paying towards, the, towards you know, the IRS, the government, if they were seeing it reflected in the decisions, if they were seeing it reflected in like decisions that fit them, especially with middle class and poor Americans paying most of the taxes, like don't even get me started. Oh my God. It's giving really minty vibes, which I don't mind, but I also want to layer a little bit of m this silver J. LaRue pigment. I've talked about J. LaRue on this channel a bunch because I love their glitters and their loose pigments. So I'm just going to layer it over this little mint color. I also love that it's not a cut crease. I feel like it's so, like it doesn't have to be as clean because the kind of look it is. I just, I love it. Miss J. LaRue, honey. Hello? Ah! Oh my god. Ma'am, breathe. Oh yes. Just right over top of that mint. Not I'm trying to overpower it, but just for our little cloudies. I'm gonna use this light next, unless I feel like I need to use my white Suva Beauty eyeliner, but I think a concealer will work better. We gonna see. 
And then I've got a little fluffy eyeliner brush and then also this little mini packing brush. Well, I think it's a concealer brush, but whatever. When I do clouds, I've done them a couple times silverly and I'm very much not right now, Jesus. Um, and I just like to, yeah, kind of like I'm doing, just kind of dab and I do, I make sure I get the little arch up top on the top and on the bottom. I kind of like, if you guys remember doing those little sponge paintings in um, <laughs> elementary school, that's what I try to do on my face with the brush. So I just dab a lot and clouds are imperfect and so if you try to make it look perfect then it'll look weird. So I just try to do a lot of dabbing, try to make it look um, dimensional with some little, you know, tiny stro um, strokes on the top. Okay, wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I did that after all this tequila? These clouds, these baby ones are not symmetrical at all, but I don't care. It's a good look. Now oh, we gotta do our little under eye, under eye moment. I'm also gonna like just blend this little blue out here more because it's looking a little patchy. Okay, blush. Mm, I'm guessing a little orangey pink moment just because it'll kind of go softly with this whole theme we got going here. I want it to be super light though. This whole thing, everything that's happening right now is literally why I'm like, I am a democratic socialist, borderline communist, because why, why, why are people still dying because they can't eat or because they don't have heat or because all of these um, things that are so, so, so fixable in America. Why are people dying not from COVID but because of the pandemic because or, or struggling because they can't afford to feed their family? Like what's happening here? Aren't we like a global superpower? Don't we have the most money in the world? Like, I'm confused. Like, I hate that I grew up in a country that's like, don't give money to homeless people because they're gonna spend it on booze. So am I! I too will spend it on booze. So why are we giving money to me? Like, I'm confused. Like, that is why I keep saying I hate it here. I don't wanna be in this place where we are letting um, newborn babies die because their families don't have heat because of a statewide power outage, Texas, um, where people are living in poverty because of a pandemic that was um, controlled and handled poorly by the government where like just all this stuff is happening this is so embarrassing and looking at all of these places that are fully back to where they were pre-covid is like even the most embarrassing like what is it australia that's like completely open like it's people people in australia are quarantining because of um they, they were, or not quarantining, people in Australia are like, oh yeah, we don't really wear masks like everywhere. It's mostly just like gauge it by situation, but sometimes we wear them in these specific situations because it is respectful to the workers that are there. Imagine any American person doing something because it was respectful. Imagine the American government encouraging you to do some, encouraging you to do something because it was respectful. Also, just going back to this thing that I was saying earlier, I messed up my eyes, um, 
just going back to the thing I was saying earlier with Kamala and Joe, we, like, people who voted for them, or, you know, hopefully you didn't vote for Trump the first time, but we are not Trump supporters. We don't, we're not those weird friggin' people who wear a hat for the person we voted for all four years and, like, have posters of them in our house and, like, do all of that weird, scary, cultish stuff. So stop acting like it. Like, it's it's weird. It's strange. We clown Trump supporters for it, and now you can't be doing the same thing of being like, oh my god, like, I love them so much I can do no wrong, my king and queen. Stop that. Stop. Stop. Hold them accountable. They work for us. They work for us. They work for you. They work for you and me. All right. Let's try to do these little blue bottom lashes. I'm gonna put this white lash primer on my lashes first. Oh, no, no, don't get clumpy. And then I'm gonna try putting the blue over it. Let's see how she works. Just with, I do it with a big brush because I feel like a little brush wouldn't, oh, yeah. Big brush was the move. That was simpler than I thought. Okay. Wait a minute. I know I did not do I am actually three sheets to the wind right now, you guys. Like, I can't. Huh? Let's do the lips so we can zoom in. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm not gonna lie, I ate. I ate that. I ate it right up. Period. Alright y'all, in summation. I feel like I used to use that word. <laughs> I used to use summation. And the last paragraph of all of my like high school essays, because I was like, I need something else to start this last paragraph with. And all my paragraphs started like, first of all, secondly, thirdly, fourthly, lastly, in summation. I hate it. I hate it here. Uh, <laughs> um, in summation, none of these I'm not gonna say none of these political figures, actually, but a lot of these political figures are not worth standing, especially the president and VP. Like, love Miss Kamala, love what she represents, everything. J Joe, it was obviously not my first option. I voted for him because that's what I had to do. But a lot of people are not worth fangirling over. Like, what is happening here? Unless they are part of the squad, unless there are these young. POC women that just ran in the last few years or um who is it Ossoff and what's his name who run the runoff in Georgia I'm tipsy let me alone um I, they're not worth standing and even if you do really like these people you still have to hold them accountable that is not I like can't stop speaking on myself I really, I really feel like I snapped. So now watch me take some selfies and realize I didn't snap, but let me realize it myself. Okay, okay. All right, y'all, don't forget to tune in next week for another Tipsy Tea. And just so you don't miss the video, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and click that little bell so you are notified every single time that I post a video. If you would see, if you would see like, no. If you would like to see more pictures of the finished look, go ahead and look at my Instagram at It's Tipsy Tea where you will find lots of selfies, more reels, polls that I post every week about what look I'm going to do if you would like to have a say and what kind of booze I'm going to drink. And don't forget to thumbs up at the end of this video and comment if you like this type of content. All right. I will see you all next week. Bye.